All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This is part two of my comparison of the PDK versus a manual 911. My buddy happens to have a 911 GTS, a 991.1, just like I do, but the only difference between our two cars is that he has the manual transmission and I have the PDK. So last year we thought, let's get together driving each other's cars and kind of giving our impressions between PDK versus manual. If you missed part one, I drive my own PDK and talk about what it's like to drive a PDK during a spirited drive, so check that out in this card up above. But in this video, Milton's gonna drive my car, and again, he's used to the manual. In fact, his manual has a short shift kit, numeric short shift kit on it. So he's gonna drive my PDK car and give us his impressions of what it's like to drive the GTS PDK. All right, guys, now we're in the PDK GTS, my GTS. Milton, now he's gonna give it a go so we could see uh, what his impressions are after the manual version of this car. And we're in normal, normal, full auto, no paddle shifters engaged. Well, it, it is a little interesting just pulling away, pulling into traffic and not having to change gears. It's, it's different, but it's, I don't feel inadequate. We'll have a chapter change here in a minute. like this was coming up we would do something different right we would have it in a different gear but that just but, shows how capable Porsches are just in general right you know, I mean even in normal mode normal mode it's it handles great I mean I'm not blaming the PDK on this but I would be in a higher gear sure right now but that's no different than any other car with a normal or comfort mode and quite frankly, given the traffic on the road at this time, it's doing fine. It's just killing us. <laughs> exactly, the traffic. Just killing us. We had this road to ourselves yes. an hour ago. That's right. And now someone has sent the invitation <laughs> out for everybody to come home. <laughs> exactly. Love the way the car sounds. Mm -hmm. Love that exhaust no I know we're talking about the difference between manual and PDK but I've got to share a paragraph just about naturally aspirated oh yeah the car's ability to meter power is great with the naturally aspirated engine I don't have to worry about balancing A, B, and C. I just have to worry about my foot in this mode. Exactly. So what did you think about the shifting there? I felt it was still higher than I would have it in, in a manual, but it was fine. Right. I never touched the gas and it didn't have the power. Right. But, you know, if I knew I was going to go through that road enthusiastically, I wouldn't have it in normal. But it did a great job in normal. Right. So now we'll switch it. What do you want to go to? Sport Plus or Sport? It's up. I'm leaving it up to you. A couple right of Right to Sport Plus. All right. So with that, we got suspension, exhaust, and it's like I'm stuck in second gear right now. And I really don't want to be this high in the revs in the second gear. I'm just curious if I hit sport in the middle of it. So I hit sport in the middle of it. And it went from the second to fourth, now fifth. So it really goes almost, you know, nine tenths, ten tenths. In the, so you know, I'd rather it be higher. So I'm going to go, go back to sport plus. Wow. <laughs> they yeah, dropped all the way down, right? Back down to second gear. Back down to second gear. We're in second gear at, at 4,800 RPM. Yeah. <laughs> it's on.
in here. I, I monitored when I drove my car. I spent a lot of time on this road in third gear. Oh, okay. You know, with occasional second gear. What is this in right now? So you're in Sport Plus and what is Sport it? Sport Plus and third gear. Been third in, gear, yeah. in three, four minutes. So, to some degree, I could say it's matching my decision making in the manual. Got it. In Sport Plus. In Sport Plus. I haven't played with the manual yet, and, and I'll, I'll say this. I haven't really felt I had the need. Interesting. To uh, do it yet, which is. Uh, Interesting, right? A test, you know, positive testimony about. Must say, this I mean, it's downshifting three, two. It's keeping me up where I want to, where I would want to be manually, in order to have this car move out when I want to execute a move out. It's on point. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So it's making some smart decisions. It's making decisions that mirror the decisions that I made. So we just ran that road in my car. Now, now I'm, I took off, take off of my light and it turns yellow. I'm 6,200 RPMs in first gear doing 36 miles an hour. I would definitely not be doing that. I take my foot off the gas. It's holding first gear. It's still not letting go of first gear. That I'm not necessarily crazy about, of course. And the track and and you can't go hotter than this. So this is going to be the same thing that you would use. Wow. I mean, that went right to red line before it changed. Yep. The Sport Plus is really tuned for track use. Right. I mean, there is no hotter mode, right? It, it, no, there's Sport no Plus. higher. Exact. Sport Plus is the highest. So it's thinking you're doing maximum attack, even if you're only doing 30 miles an hour. So it's, it's keeping that gear, I mean, keeping that rev really, really high. It makes me think about how much I under ask <laughs> my engine. I would never ask my engine to go to red line in first gear. It's very interesting to drive your same car in a PDK. Yes. And how close is that to what you do in a van? Second to red line. I'm just like, I know it's my own car, <laughs> but because I'm not concentrating on driving, I'm just listening. It sounds phenomenal. You just did a run in the PDK. Your thought? I haven't driven a Porsche PDK 911 GTS. I have the identical car in a manual shift. So in driving this car, I was very curious to see what decisions the PDK made versus what decisions I would have made and Sport Plus was 10 tenths it was extreme red line for every uh, gear change and held gears uh, for longer periods of time almost to red line in every or to red line in every scenario um, what I found was as I drove the manual I specifically made sure to remember what gears I was in and and when the PDK pretty much matched the gear I was that I chose in my manual as going as we went through this particular road now in some instances it held second gear a lot longer than than I would have I would have gone into third but PDK is, is probably, like I said, 10 tenths. It's probably more set up for a track environment. 
than it is for an enthusiastic street environment where it would be somewhat of a hybrid of decisions that are, that are made there for a variety of reasons. Um, so I, um, I applaud the PDK um, without a doubt. Now, I could have mitigated some of the extreme RPMs uh, and going to red line when, when I did not think that the car needed to go there uh, by uh, tapping the uh, paddle shifters and taking it off, knocking off the high RPMs and things like that. Uh, I didn't do that because I wanted to focus on what decisions PDK was making for Sport and Sport Plus. How do you find the engagement of this car? Does a PDK car engage you? I had a great time driving through the same roads. Um, you know, I battle with myself and, and, and friends. I have some friends that are 100, 1,000% manual committed um, for engagement. I'm a little bit of an anomaly because I have the manual 911, but I also have some cars with advanced paddle shift systems also automatic. So I've played with both. And I, I won't say that they're the same, but you can get similar engagement out of a paddle shifter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe without the old school flare, mm -hmm. you know, uh, pipe versus vape. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. Without the smell of the black cherry tobacco and the apple wood. Right. And all those flavors and, and, and that kind of thing. But um, I would say, uh, yes, I, I, I certainly could. And I didn't play with the paddle shifters. But, yes, it's still a Porsche. And it still feels great in those turns. Um, would I choose a manual or a PDK over a manual after having had this experience? If I had to relive my purchase, I would choose my manual uh, because I guess I have a little bit of that pipe smoke in my blood <laughs> and I feel uh, the manual, uh, you know, uh, quite frankly, I would... In a manual, in my same car in Sport Plus, I can meter more. Now, you can meter here with the paddle shifters. Yeah, you can. But, so, I'm kind of neutering my own statement to a degree. But with the stick, there's something I like about going to one hand and engaging, you know, the steering wheel and the stick shift slowing down, putting it back into gear. And again, you know, the manual shift, we're not talking about a notchy mess. We're talking about a Porsche shifter that is smooth and snick, 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 snick. I and like, yours like has that. that upgraded numeric on top of it. Too. Right, has a numeric shifter. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I like it. I really do. Now, I don't drive my car. I don't drive my Porsche to work every day. I don't drive it every day. I don't do this. You do a lot more things in your Porsche sure. than I do. I would say going to and from like you do in town. Yes. And in the New York area. We went and to the grocery you, store with my wife this morning. If you you're know. stuck in traffic yeah. and you're putting the car in traffic zones and situations, it could be, uh, you know, certainly a lot easier. You know, and things Although, like that. you know, manuals, I've driven a manual all of my life. This is my first automatic car. When, when I was driving a manual in those conditions where I was going commuting to work or whatever in Los Angeles or whatever, I had a Porsche manual in Los Angeles and it just becomes second nature and to drive a manual in heavy traffic, it's just, it becomes what your body does. You know, you right. just kind of react to it. You don't even think, it's like breathing. You just kind of do it. So, so. Right, I mean, I, and again, I would, I would go that way, but I, I, I won't, I won't drop trial on the technology. I mean, right. I, I have, as you know, I have an AMG, uh, an E63S AMG. Yep. And, uh, you know, not a manual. And the car's got plenty of uh, testicles. <laughs> and it's got plenty of uh, power. It's and, King Kong, that yeah, car. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beast. <laughs> it's and, King uh, Kong. We've, <sighs> we've had these cars out together with 
with the uh, and I have the wagon and the wagon uh, has uh, yeah has shown it, it's uh, it's power. Uh, I mean the Porsche is way back here and the wagon is just walking yeah, away. Yeah, it's 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 a beast. Uh, so the paddle shifter I think is is a great thing. It's just I think it really is pipe pipe smoker yeah. versus uh, vape. you know a vape guy. You yeah. know it's to a, to to a degree. Yeah. And 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 I'll say this with all the, the technology that's coming about with these cars and this that and the other, I I I see and I'm going to be one of these guys that just you know. 20 years from now, 15 years from now, you see a car, you see a nice car, you see a high grade sports car with a manual transmission, it kind of makes me flitter flutter a little bit. Yeah. It makes me uh, makes me want to tear up a little bit, it makes me want to drive yeah. that car. Mm -hmm. I miss that. Right. You know, I had, to, and I had a 73 911 S, and one of the greatest things I loved about that car was as old as it was, it was still Porsche fun. Well, very good, very good. All right, with that, we're going to jump on into the manual. Let's see how that goes. All right. Great.